It was a gathering of the big names in Nigerians' politics and governance. In attendance, we are President Mohamed Buhari, Senate President Bukola Saraki, and Speaker Yakubu Dogara, the head of the nation's judiciary and chief justice of the Federation, Justice Walter Onogen, was also present. Guest speaker at the event was the immediate past chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atairu Jega. While speaking, Professor Jega accused federal lawmakers of notoriety in bribe-seeking. Regrettably, many of the chief executives that I have spoken with, and I know only a few, have terrible stories to tell, particularly about the issue of bribe-giving and bribe-taking when members of the National Assembly pursue so-called committee work and oversight responsibilities. This is well known. Everybody knows it. It's being said. But nothing seems to be done about it. And I wonder what is happening to the intelligence and investigative uh, 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 responsibilities of our security and policing agencies. Some chairmen of committees in the National Assembly have become notorious on this issue of recklessly with impunity demanding for bribes. I'm back in the university system. I have heard stories from many vice chancellors about the horrors that they go through on questions of budget and so-called oversight. I am not saying that chief executives are saints. The former INEC boss believed that for the nation's democracy to thrive, the executive, legislature, and judiciary must work in line with the rule of law and sincerity. In his speech, President Muhammadu Buhari charged public office holders on probity and commitment to national development. He said the organizers of the event would have invited former minister in charge of Niger Delta's affair, Elder Gosde Urubebe. I must digress to raise an observation by the program's organizers because I did not see Mr. Urubebe who ought to have come and listened to Professor Jega <laughs> delivering this lecture. This is a major observation. That incident, for those of us who are lucky, that there was light and we had the television to see the confrontation between Mr. Orubebe and Professor Jega, it will made a live impression as it has made in some of us. Other speakers at the event believe that the nation has fared well under democracy more than it did during the military dispensation. I am hopeful for the future. But as we do that, we should not take our democracy for granted. We must work hard. Because as I said, it is fragile. It is very fragile. And it builds on us to ensure that we strengthen it. And we can only strengthen it by beginning to hold on to those values and virtues of democracy. I want to remind us of the wish that is contained in our national trait, which is peace and unity. A united Nigeria will be a peaceful, Nigeria. So I want to end by making this rallying call to all Nigerians, south, west, north, east, across all divides to unite for the common good. Development only thrives where there is peace, transparency and accountability, justice and equity, freedom of speech, choice, Near absence of corruption. The allegation made by former INEC boss Professor Atairu Jega is not new but very worthy, considering his personality and the occasion during which he spoke. With the National Assembly leadership in attendance, one would wait anxiously to see what the reaction of the nation's highest law making body would be. Ikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.